Fine. Yeah. Fine, sir. Yeah, fine. By the way. So today we are all late. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody right? knows I ain't faking it. So everybody knows my heart's breaking down. You are here, uh, technology influencer, Patriarchu Muktiani, Nurupat Mawati, and me, Sunita. Sunita Devi. Who is that? This is the name, Sunita Devi. Who is that? What is it? Priya. Okay, Priya. Sita Aliya, technology influencer and uh, double technology influencer. Nikhil, Nikhil Kumar. Okay, fine. All are here. So we are just one, two, three. Four, five, five listeners, right? Stay, yeah. Three so from Indonesia. About public speaking. Today, I'm going to tell you that how you could influence or enhance your public speaking skill. So, in the next, when I talk about myself then here on the on your screen there is my introduction it is not necessary at all uh, when you get time to read about it then you just go through it but it's not necessary to represent my introduction but uh, as well as if i'm preparing for a topic then i must clarify that who the hell i am that i am able to speak something about so that's why uh, i'm sorry for the noises because uh, I'm, I'm outside of my house, so please let me just ignore it. So I just introduce myself before you that uh, who the hell I am and why I am able to teach you something else regarding public speaking. As well as I have experiences for speaking uh, in front of thousands of audience and seminars also. So here I know the feelings and uh, the barriers and the advantages behind public speaking. So let's uh, start and let's talk about the definition of public speaking. So in the next next page, you will see that we are going to talk about public speaking and what is that the sentence or word about public speaking we are talking so on in the next ppt neural just change the screen okay public speaking when we are talking about public speaking then it's all about delivering speeches in public face to face it's all about delivering speeches publicly face to face that's when you are speaking in front of multiple audience uh, hundreds of audience or thousands of audience then it is called public speaking there are some advantages listed in the next slide as well when uh, it for, for a general reasons it demonstrates your knowledge demonstrate your confidence demonstrate your leadership these are three reasons basic reasons that's why we need public speaking as well in the next slide you will see that advantages of public speaking it opens up new opportunity for career when you have a good speaking skill through a public house then you will be you will be opportunized by the people to get you in with their enterprises or their business or in their all sectors whatever they have opportunities they will let you to come with them so this opens up new opportunities for you positions you as an authority that's when you become an author for 
that minute while you are speaking. Likely if your speech is about two minutes, then for the two minutes you are an author and you can say anything else and people will believe you, people will listen to you. That means you will be at the position of an author and you are now delivering the knowledge to the people. That is very essential. It sets you apart from your competition. That means in the competitive world, you know already that there are so many competitions around you and you have to just fight with them. For the students, I would let you know that just you are a student and uh, you are uh, as average as other students, but this quality will let you ask any question to your teacher. This quality will let you know anything else. This quality will make you stronger than others. So that's how it sets you apart from your competition. They will never try to compete you, compete you even if they don't do public speaking skills. So the next one is improves internal communication. What do you mean by internal com communication? That's mean if you are a good public speaker, then you can communicate within your family as well within your family and with yourself also. You'll have to get answers and question as well for being satisfied. If you aren't satisfied, then you can't make a good public speaking skill. And if you are speaking in front of audience, then they, they will ask you questions. They might have some questions and they will raise questions regarding your speech and you will have to answer them. And for that, you will have to be prepared already. And if you are not prepared, that means you are not able to raise questions within your life. If you are not able to raise questions within your life, you won't be able to answer them. Right? So this is how you, you could be prepared for every situation and it improves the internal communication to be prepared for that situation. Prepares you for spontaneous speaking challenges. That means if you are somewhere and they invited you to speak something before audience, then you will shake your hands and say no sir i am not prepared as I, ha I was not notified already that uh, i have to deliver the speech so i can't sorry 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 like then it will insult you for for that for that situation you will need this skill that you can speak in front of audience anytime in any situation in a short moment so it prepares you for spontaneous speaking challenges. For example, I have, I have just, uh, I have just uh, quoted it as delivering a speech at short notice. Okay. The next next point is the next advantage is motivates and persuades other people to reach and attend post -home. Do you know the meaning of this? <laughs> Likely, you are listening. And one of you, one of you is able to attain this knowledge that how to speak in public. If a single person is able to understand this skill and use it while he is or she is speaking in front of audience, then definitely it is motivating you. And this is the purpose or the advantages of public speaking. <clears throat> it makes your desirable guest on local, regional and national conferences, seminars and other events. Alright? I'm sorry, I'm not opening the camera because uh, the camera of my laptop is not so good. I'm sorry that. <clears throat> so it, it makes you a desirable guest. That means when people will hear you, that when people will listen to you, that you are a good speaker and you are motivating people around your, your locality, then definitely they will call you, they will invite you in their events. 
seminars, conferences, that just please come to the stage and please uh, show uh, show us some part, or they will say like that. Please come guide us. You know, so this is the way how it makes you a desirable guest on local. Greater control over emotions and body language. If you are a good public speaker, then you must have to control your emotions and body language as well. And for that, why you'll have to control over. It. You don't have to show your overjoyness, or you don't have to show your anxiety. You have to be calm, peaceful. and as well mannerful so your body language should be appropriate like a good speaker while you shouldn't cross your limits of the body <clears throat> these all are the advantages of public speaking but do you know what are the barriers of the public speaking skill so in the next slide we will hear we will listen or we will understand what are the barriers of the public speaking skill the first one is nervousness like whenever you go before the public you get nervous oh how should i speak that people will encourage me how should i speak that people will love me how should i speak oh my god how should i make it possible this is called nervousness hesitation should i speak or not should i speak or not can i do it these all are hesitation within you that are stopping you to do something better that are stopping you and hesitation is common for everyone for the first time lack of knowledge it is the most most worst condition of a public speaker if he hasn't knowledge about the topic if you don't have knowledge proper knowledge about anything you can't speak for a while you will be trapped within questions and that's why if you have lack of knowledge you can't make a good discussion or you cannot convince people throughout your speech and this is the worst barrier of public speaking if we go to the next one lack of motivation if the speaker is self not motivated then he couldn't be able to motivate public and if he is not able to motivate public not able to convince the public then definitely is not going to be a good speaker never so there must be some motivational skills within the public speaker no experience as well if someone is at first time speaking in front of audience of thousands or hundreds people then definitely he will feel the above all barriers a nervousness hesitation lack of motivation everything because he has no experience of being in such amount of people and definitely that time they will feel low oh my god i have not done this ever and how could i persuade it they will feel low and that time it will become the biggest barrier of emotions and anxiety emotions and anxiety are another barriers for public speaking if someone if someone has asked something emotional question you are not supposed you are not supposed to be emotional as a public speaker you want to start to cry over it. it's not a professional skill you want to start to cry or you want to start to laugh at all okay you don't have to be angry you don't have to be angry on their question they have the right to ask questions and you have to just reply that with calmness with peace your language must be appropriate your body language must be controlled and this is how you become a good speaker next one is lack of concentration you don't have concentration on your public on their behavior on their uh, on their perceptions if you don't have 
concentration or near public then you can't make estimation that what they are thinking about you what they are concluding about you do you need more enhancement in your speaking skill or not you won't get this knowledge without concentrating on public and the last barrier but not the least lack of social perception you have an uh, you have an persuade your society and you have a you have no analysis of practical knowledge within your society then definitely you're not going to be a good speaker as well because because there is a bigger reason bigger reason because you want to be able to relate your speech to the your original life to their practical life if you're speaking if your speech is not practical then definitely you are not going to make an impact on them and if you are not able to impact on them then you are useless as public speaker and you have no value so these all are the most worst barriers of public speaking what i have experienced in my life and uh, as being a public speaker i know very well that what is fear in the next slide we will learn that what is fear and what are the situations when we feel it the first situation fawning heart you know fawning heart when your heart beats are so high and you can just listen them yes surely you can just listen them easily that your heart is pounding dry mouth you will you will experience it when you are agitated nervous and uh, you will just feel that your heart is beating so fast and your mouth is beginning dry and dry and you just need water and you will just drink water and water uh, again and again then uh, it, these are the situation shaking hands shaking hands your hand will vibrate automatically you don't know you don't have control on your hands even your hands are vibrating and you don't know that how to control them you are just nervous and just thinking about the speech that how should i be able to speak in front of this much audience this is this is this is the situation when you are on the stage at first time to bring voice then your voice will vibrate will not be able you will not be able to be loud enough to be heard by people yeah really it is common uh, uh, for an example if if you are in the class if you are in the class uh, if you are in the class for a new student as a new student and your teacher called you in front of all and said to you that introduce yourself you know what you will start like quivering voice yeah ma'am ma'am uh, uh, my name is this and i i have i have done this and i belong to this you will start like saying this you know so this is the situation of your voice next one cold sweaty palms and your palms will be sweaty even in winter also this is the winter season there is so much cold there is no chance of sweating body but sorry for the noise it's all around here i'm sorry yeah everybody knows that i'm breaking down i do really apologize for the interruption sorry okay let's continue cold sweaty palms means your hand your palms your feet everywhere you see sweaty because you are in fear and there will be sweat all over your body just because of fear and even winter season if you don't believe me then just go for a stage performance definitely you can experience it oh my god they all are not letting me to perform here <laughs> okay stomach cramps have anyone experienced these all situations 
uh, I think yes. yeah 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 most of you have experienced it as well and in stomach cramps you when you are on the stage then you are feel like uh, what to do with my stomach oh my god it's it's having a, a sweet pain in your stomach and then you'll say should i go wash them or not <laughs> likely this it happens it happens it's common <laughs> and not to worry about it so in the next slide i'll let you know that how you could overcome this fear situation but before that i'll tell you the minds about you there are two different minds first one is that people used to say people used to say us that great public speaking talents are in born talents that's mean if you are a great public speaker then you are in born talent you have the talent by your birth but it's totally mind because because as i have experienced and the university of california at law school also revealed that there is no one that is born talented in public speaking because language is the one what we learn after birth not before the birth okay the language is learned with your environment if your environment is valuing english then you learn english if your environment is speaking another language then you will speak another language like hindi marathi or indonesian like you know so there are multiple languages and we learn our environmental speaking language and that's why no one can say that the person is in born talented in his speaking because the language is self learned in our environment the next one is fear of public speaking is negative and undesirable you know what every good or bad public speaker have to face this situation definitely you can't just say that i haven't faced this because it because it is the truth it is a human nature and you have to go through it you have to fight with it you have to face it and we know that no one is born talented everyone has the same fear before experiences at first interaction as a public speaker you would feel that fear as it is normal everyone has to face i am sorry again and again noise is interrupting me so that's why i had to stop uh, i have to take the pauses while speaking because uh, you won't be able to hear me while it's making noise okay so i'm sorry so so we have talked about two myths the first one is great public speaking talents are not not born talented and the second one is fear of public speaking is negative and undesirable is totally myth okay so these are the two myths and now we will talk about the situations in which we can transform fear into excitement okay you are nervous you are in the fear situations as i have talked before you are in the fear situations and you are nervous and uh, you are just hesitating that how to speak then just take a breath take a deep breath just inhale as much as oxygen you can carry in your body just inhale it okay just take a deep breath shift focus outwards that's mean if you are not comfortable on looking at eyes then just shift before that or after that likely uh, if you are focusing on a person into his eyes and if you are not able to make your concentration while you are getting distracted then you can see his chair you can see his chair you have to just concentrate on that chair particular you will not be distracted and the person will attain you he will feel that you are looking at him but actually where you are you are looking at the chair 
but he will understand that you are looking at him because the distance between you and him is so small that will marginalize your focus the next one is visualizing just look around everyone is normal they are not going to do anything with you when you are speaking something so don't worry about it and just go for it focusing on facts not fear just focus on the facts don't feel fear that it is to be spoken then it is right and if it is true to the society and if i am delivering this there is no wrong then definitely i can speak why should i feel fear what is the problem behind it everyone is speaking in front of people then why could not i these are the facts and you have to focus on this and now next you own feel fear in the next moment we will be confident and you have no fear to feel the next one building the speech on clarity not complexity if you have the speech then make it clear to understand don't make it so complex to understand okay so when you are speaking something about then just be clear on your words in the next slide we are going to learn the effective qualities while you, we are speaking now it is the most important part of today's web that how you could make your speech more effective the first quality what i haven't mentioned here that just introduce yourself into the public introduce yourself what you are and what you have achieved this will let people to understand you and they will start valuing you if they don't know who are you don't try to understand you whatever you are speaking so it is very necessary to introduce yourself in front of people with your credits okay and the second point is storytelling in the speech when you are delivering a speech then you must carry a story with the speech related to the topic the story must contain the theme of the topic second one is body language your body language should be appropriate according to the rules of public speaking i'll let you know that how you could uh, use it okay pauses pauses have pauses have an an important role in your all over speaking whether you are speaking public or not pauses have some meaning these are called punctuation sections and punctuations are expressions that if you are asking a question or you are exclaimed or you are just delivering a statement so there are expressions just because of pauses and punctuation visual acts then you can show something on a video to the public if you are representing something on a through video or ppt on public they will they will absorb it very quickly and they will learn oh yes this is how it's going on oh yes this is how it's going on so this is very important to add visual ad here okay so in the next slide we are going to learn storytelling what we should do or what we shouldn't do in the storytelling we have to make relevant story to the subject the story should be relevant to the subject simple and short and you have to just eliminate unnecessary details like the multiple of characters and multiple of names so you have to just minimize it. just eliminate that that you have to just say that uh, you have invited so many people you don't have need you don't need to identify with their names 
likely i have invited to uh, mohan so and karim rahim rahman like this you have to just say i have i had invited many people from my neighbor that's it now so when you are making a story relevant to your topic that must be simple and short and that must be any eliminating unnecessary details there must be there must be a space into your story where you will reemphasize your message likely when you are telling a story then take take a pause take a long pause and just reemphasize the message that yes i have told in the starting that it is like this for an example if i tell you that we are talking about the education system and we are just speaking that is the education system is good okay if we are if you are delivering a speech related that education system is good and you are just telling a story within the speech then take a pause within the speech in uh, appropriate word at appropriate sentence and just reemphasize your message that yes i have told you that education system is good and that's why it is happening here now let's start the story continue the story and you just continue this this is the reemphasization of your message then people will keep reminding that yes 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 he has told me he has told me yes yes he yes. is right he is right so it will give an impact use appropriate body language and facial expressions to so convey emotions if you if you are a good public speaker then you must carry expression on your face you must carry emotion you must carry expressions regarding those emotions in your words and on your face i'm sorry there are too much noises i'm sorry i'm really sorry because i'm outside and uh, uh, i have to face it because i was known that uh, the webinar is not going to happen that's why i just moved and uh, now i'm just attending it so i'm sorry for that noise okay let's continue with the topic ha huh, yeah i was talking about body language <coughs> If you are asking question, likely, if you are asking question, there must be an expression on your face that will express that you are confused and you are asking questions. You are just want an inquiry, and that's why the expression is very necessary. Many of times, you just express what, you just express the what, and now many of you are just. Uh, expressing on your face as i am able to see this neural that he is too much concentrated <laughs> okay then expression plays the role expressions plays the role and that's why it is very necessary to understand while i was talking many of you were smiling and i just felt it because no one is on video except neural and uh, i can i can and i can understand that you were smiling that time when i talked about your expressions <laughs> because everyone is looking at her because only she is on video not me not others okay let's continue with the topic um, use elements of the story that your audience can relate to if the characters or the elements of speech is foreign what the mean is for if you are talking in your locality likely if you are talking in indonesia then you must use uh, for indicating characters a muslim name because there are localities of muslim mostly they will relate easily and if you are in british in england then you must take a name of uh, any british they will relate so easily 
So these are the qualities, key elements that you have to use in your story that your audience can relate to them. And it is very necessary for story touch. Emphasize the adjective and verbs in your stories to make the sound interesting. You know what? It is common public. Sorry, it is common speaking. Not even public. It is common speaking. If you are not making impact of your sound, then you are not in speaking English or any language. In Hindi or Arabic or English, whatever, whenever you are speaking, just you use emotions, expressions to make your sound interesting. Like you. What the hell? I have just, I have just, I have just given you an example that you are saying, what the hell? Then it is making it interesting. Oh my God, this noise is really disturbing me. Like me, I have said, oh my God. Then it has some sound effect. It has some emphasization. And that is why it makes an interesting sound within the speech. So you must emphasize the adjectives and verbs in your stories to make the sound interesting. Learn your stories by heart. You shouldn't you shouldn't deliver your story as it has already read by many of audience. If they are all if they are all known to this story already, then they will never focus on you. They will not, not take interest listening your story because they already know. You know, uh, for example, if you talk about any story, uh, I don't know uh, that in Indonesia, which story is relevant to this, but uh, I know about India that there is a story, a uh, common story of a turtle and a rabbit. The race is, they make a race and uh, normally everyone knows that turtle wins the race. If you are setting a story like this, which is, which is common to everyone, which is read by everyone, then you won't be able to reach at your goals. You won't be able to convince people. You won't be able to take advantages of public attention. You won't be able to make their interests into you. So that's why you must create your own story by your heart. Just create your own story and put it into the speech. They will listen you carefully because they haven't heard it before. They have never listened it before. They have never sorry. They have never read it before. And that's why they will listen it carefully. In the next slide, I will tell you what you don't have to do in the storytelling. Everyone has jealous to me. That's why they all are interrupting me with their horns. Yes, I'm going to launch an empire again. Okay, it was just a joke. Just keep laughing. The story thing, what we don't have to do. The first thing, don't immerse more and more stories into your speech. When you are using stories into your speech that mustn't exceed more than two. I think one is enough. I think one story is enough. If you have different aspects or two or three different themes of the topic, then you can just involve two stories, but uh, you don't have to cross the limit of two stories. Okay? It will overweight your speech and you will lose the attention of public. Next. Don't use terms that are foreign to the experience of the audience. As I have told you before, that use relevant things, use the elements that public can relate to. Okay, this is the same. Don't fill the story with too many characters. 
I have also said this before. Then don't involve too many characters. Just minimize them. Just minimize them. I have given the example that you don't need to name every characters that I have called hundred people and their names are. <laughs> then now you are telling the names all the time. You are taking five to ten minutes by telling the names of hundred people. They will get bored. He is just telling the names all the time. What should I do with the name? Just tell me the theme. They are feeling this, and that's why it will overweight your storytelling skill. And this is how you will lose your public. You will lose the attention of your public. Don't choose inappropriate story. If you are talking about, if you are talking about education system, then you can't uh, take a story from another side, like the uh, uh, social exploitation. Okay. If you are talking about education system, you can't talk about social exploitation. in the story you must your must uh, your story must carry the appropriate theme and that's why you need to choose appropriate story next one don't mislead the theme of the talk if here i'm talk, talking about public speaking and now i start to tell about something else no one will listen Everyone will think that we had to study this, and now sir is teaching me something else. And why should I listen? They will lose. Uh, I, I lose their attention. They will left the group. They will left the uh, webinar. Definitely. Why? Because I am misleading them. But if I am talking on the topic. If I am telling them that how you can be a good speaker, then they will be continued with me because I am talking about their interest, and that's why you don't have to mislead the team of the talk. In the next slide, we are going to learn about body language. I have told you before that I will discuss that how your body language must be. Keep a relaxed and upright posture. Okay. Keep a relaxed and upright posture. It means when you stand in a relaxed position. Do you know how? No. Anyone knows how to stand in a relaxed and upright posture? No, don't know. Uh, how could I be able to show you all with my next one? Are you able to see the board? Yes, sir. Are you able to see me? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. This is how you need to stand properly in a relaxed mood. Your hands, your head should be on the sides, and your body should be straight, straight enough. Don't lean. Don't lean. You don't have to lean out for. Okay. Avoid stepping your weight. Let me see. If I show you the feet, feet movement, then when you do like this, you are shifting your weight to the left. Another one by one. You are changing your legs, and this distracts people. Okay. The next one. It is very difficult. to make it visible by everyone wait a minute i'm just trying to make it happen
Okay. Right there, you are able to. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so I to avoid slipping your weight. Avoid slipping your weight. Two, one leg to another feet. Sorry, one foot to another foot. So this is how you have to manage your body leg. I'm not able to see my face. Really? Yeah, just show me. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Moving towards your listener. Time of trust and openness. Likely, you are you have separated you in a corner and just you are standing. You are in a standing position and you are just speaking with the mic, just going, 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 and you are just speaking. So on. But it will not let your listener to get interest in you. You have to move towards them. Just be closer to them. Be closer to them. And if you are closer to them, then you will be able to take their attention. I think my screen is not appropriate. Wait. Yes, now I can see Now I can see myself. Keep your arms relaxed or at your side. Like this. this. Your hand must be like this. You don't have to uh, press this like this and that. Yes, I'm talking about that. No, you don't need it. You have to just be relaxed with your arms at this time. When you need to express something with your hand, then you have to just lift up a little bit. Just it. It is your boundary. Don't cross this section. The section of your body. Don't cross this section of your body. Okay? Keep appropriate expression on your face. If you are talking something humorous, then keep a smile. Don't laugh. Don't laugh at it. Keep a smile. Just smile. You don't have to laugh. If you are talking humorous, then just give a smile. If you are uh, talking about something big issue, then be anxious. Okay? Then be anxious. But don't just move your hands like a fighter man. Okay? Just be anxious with your facial expression on. Don't do like I will do this to them and then. That's not for us. That's for politicians and it suits them. That's not for pro professional people. Okay? And as I know, politicians are not professional. Okay? So you don't have to become politicians. You have to be just professional and for that purpose you need to control your emotions and anxiety. And it is the sign of control over your emotions. When you are not letting your hands out of So keep appropriate expression on your face. Make eye contact to your listeners. Listen. If I am talking to you and if I am not making eye contact with you, you will wonder as to whom he is talking to. <laughs> it is webinar and it is online, but trust me, if I am not able to make eye contact with you, then you won't be able to understand every single word what I have told you. And I know it is the drawback of webinar that. Uh, in spite of uh, making eye contact, I am just handling both the screens. Yes, it is tough to do this at all at this place with the noise. And the next 
everyone. In the next slide, oh sorry, in the next slide, uh, we are going to talk about voice code. Everybody knows my heart's faking now. Yeah, she hates me now. Okay, guys, voice code. Never wanna be alone. I don't really ever feel it. If you are a speaker and you don't have a voice, you can command it. If you are a speaker and you don't have a voice, I don't think I'll ever let you win. And it means that you are not able to speak. I'm just talking that if you have a good voice, that is appropriate for public speaking. It means that when you are talking about anything that must be listened and understand by everybody. Okay? The first point, pace of speech must follow the rate that allows to listen to As neural man always asked to me that just Speak slower down that everyone can understand. That's why uh, I used to be so. Uh, I try my best, but uh, I'm not uh, able to slow myself. Because when I when I become slow, then I'm unable to uh, remember all the things one by one. Yes, it's my weakness while well, speaking that if I'm too slow, then I won't be able to remember everything. When I'm fast, then I can remember everything one by one, one by one. So that's why I used to be fast. But uh, now, if you are listening, then definitely I have to be slow enough that you can understand. So today, I'm, I'm trying my best to be slow enough that you can understand me. So that's why the first point is that you have to be slow enough or fast enough. You know, there are both conditions. Which type of audience is that man? If you are so fast or you are too slow, then you won't be heard, you heard by the public. You lose the attention of your voice. And that's why the speed must match to the rate what people like to listen. Okay? Second point, low pitch speaking. When you are talking with a low pitch, there must be silence. Oh, there is ball. I'm sorry, my mom was calling me. Okay. <clears throat> so, so, there must be a low pitch when you are delivering a speech in front of public. Definitely. Because too much loudness will affect ears of audience and they won't like to affect their ears by your speech. And that's why you need to be low enough that you can be listen even. Okay. The next one, be the loudest to be heard. As I have mentioned in the before seminar, in the last seminar, that the words was not louder enough to heard without ear. That was the beginning quality what I have mentioned, and today it is the it is the uh, you know thing that I am telling you that you have to be louder enough to talk about. That people could understand you, that people could hear you, that could listen to you. Okay? If I will start, you were not listening to me, or I was saying just a few moments before. Because I was too slow at my voice. I was not enough louder to be heard by you. That's why you are not doing But here I will stick to something. So this is what we need. That be much louder enough that everyone can hear you easily. They shouldn't be like that. What do you think? What do you think? 
So this will let your people, your public, to get rid of your attention. Next, allow the speaker to add humor and great effects. Let me, if I is someone and shut up. If if I don't let you to enjoy the group or I don't let you to interact with me in a humorous manner, then you will feel both so very boring. He is not enjoying our group. He is not strong running. He is so boring. I don't like that much. I'm not going to continue anymore. People will start feeling like But if you are humorous enough, not laughter, okay? Just humor. You have to add some humor, like funny uh, jokes. Like I have done this before. Then oh God, just shut up. Why are you disturbing me? <laughs> there is no no need of saying this. But I said that you will feel something human, okay? And create excitement about this. Okay, so let's talk about excitement. When you talk, that what will happen if you are a very good speaker, the best speaker in your school, the best speaker in your locality, the best speaker in the country, and the best speaker in the world. What will happen? Do you think it will just boom your personality? Yes. You will feel like you are at the top of the world, and that will let you know that who are you in the world. Your existence will matter the most. Your name is enough. Your name is enough to. Be taken by all. Your name is enough to identify your current, and you will be the example, the best example of the world to be successful. Just think about it, and this will excite you more. Enough. To read English, to be a good public, and what you were feeling some moments before that was called excitement. I added some exciting words before you with expression and you were feeling like this. yes, 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 you know, and this is called excitement. And the next, <clears throat> okay, so if I talk about visual ads, then visual ads are very necessary in our Speaking. If you are attending a seminar, then you must have a good visual skill. If I talk about visual ads, then you have uh, already experienced it in your TV advertisement, right? Have you watched any TV advertisement? Definitely, you have. So in that advertisement, they talk about beauty. They talk about beauty. That it will affect your face within one week, but you don't believe. You are not able to understand that what the hell is talking about them. Then they will they show you that a girl with uh, a girl is using the cream and just she gets so much affection with the cream and she is now very beautiful after being so ugly. And this is how. They created an impact of visual ad onto your mind, and you just feel like, yes, this thing is very good, and it will affect, it will affect my skin, and naturally, I will also become a very beautiful girl, or very, very handsome boy. Definitely, it will affect your mind, and you will go to the market. In the shopping complex and just ask for the free and just will buy it. This is the effect of visual ad. And if you are a public speaker, then you know very well that visual ads are more expressive than the speaking. If you are showing a movie, 
and we are telling the story. Movie will remain for a year and story will remain for a few days. These are the differences between visual ads and aspect. So, these visual ads are very important for all. For today, what we have learned is how to do a good speaking in public. How you will become a good speaker, how you will prepare your speeches and how you will deliver it in front of all these. And in the next webinar, I will let someone to host and to perform for the whole seminar. And definitely they will be given a topic and the one who will perform the best will be chosen for the wedding. Definitely. Nurul. So I would like to for Nurul to handle and lead this webinar to the conclusion. Okay, so I conclude. <laughs> uh, I think uh, maybe there will be question and answer section. Please, if you have any question to Mr. Need, you can deliver your question. Please, anyone? Anyone has a question? Uh, yeah, I have a question. Yeah, please, of course. Uh, I want to, uh, to ask Jitesh uh, 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 that uh, he also has uh, a fear or an anxiety uh, while speaking in public. Yeah, definitely. It's common for everyone. When I, when I was uh, I was learning public speaking, and that that time I was called on stage and so told me that uh, speak about this topic and I was just feeling shaky that uh, uh, my hands were vibrating and I was so nervous that I could be or not I could be able or not and that time when I started delivering the speech I used to gain more and more confidence and for the next time I was prepared and there was no hesitation within me when i was at the first time i had feel all the fear situation what i have mentioned in this web and these all points are made by my own experience these are not uh, googled out on the internet actually these all are experiences of mine my life what i have learned and what i have experienced with my life i have just mentioned in this Seminar. Sorry, this is not seminar. Well, okay. So it's common for all, and everyone has faced it. And as well, I have faced it also. Okay. Any question more? Okay. Anyone who has question, please feel free. Maybe from Indonesia. Do you have the question to Mr. Jit? Hello? Okay, no one has question. Okay, how about sleeping? Okay. Is this so? All are sleeping right now? <laughs> I think so. Because yes. <laughs> even after saying this, no one is responding us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe uh, yeah, maybe what what we have uh, what Mr. J delivered about the webinar about the public speaking, how to master our public speaking. Maybe it is uh, like a knowledge for us. It's like a theory for us. But however. Uh, theory will be nothing if you do not practice so I think that you uh, if you want to master in English you have to more practice in public speaking so yeah uh, so that's why I and Mr. Jit 
decide to every Sunday that we will have a webinar we will give you chance to uh, give you a place to practice your public speaking that's why uh, today is for the theory but the next Sunday will be your practicing so yeah it's a um, maybe it's the conclusion of today's webinar and what is it uh, thank you for the sir even uh, the, the the beginning uh, we make you disappointed we do apologize <laughs> for the late the late webinar uh, i hope now you so are I fine <laughs> and the only thing i know uh, is to love what you i'm will doing not never be give up never slow disappointed till I find anymore never listen to and, the nose uh, i just want to keep moving keep okay what, what to say what else i have, I have to say <laughs> yeah maybe we have a uh, we have uh, the same uh, what is it the same problem when we have a uh, when we have to do public speaking so yeah this is the chance actually so okay then then next sunday please prepare yourself for the topic and you are going to perform your public speaking okay i think that's from me and thank you for all the participants who join us yeah if uh, for now there are still one two three four five members maybe yeah so so we class to this webinar i have i have give you a question oh you have a closing set statement Okay, so uh, all of you, I think that there is no more questions regarding the webinar topic, and I have I have just mentioned all the necessary quantities, qualities and quantities and uh, into the PPT. And if anyone wants to make it a move, then uh, he or she can ask me or Nuru for the PPT definitely. And uh, I wish that you would understand the points within the PPT and uh, understand how to improve those. And uh, for, for at last word, I would like to say thanks for giving so much attention and uh, so much uh, respect for all of us. Thank you very much and keep connecting, keep learning. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. You can leave now. Thank you. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different and you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable you